good morning folks it's uh, about 8 30 lovely 35 degrees out here this morning and we are up early and we're gonna head out to a new river that I ain't been to yet the Caddo River Caddo uh, I don't know people say things funny around here <clears throat> but uh, before we do that I gotta find the rest of my GoPro batteries because I'm awful at keeping track of these things. They're probably lost somewhere back here in my mess of crap. But we'll get those. Got about a two and a half hour drive over to the river. With any luck, we'll manage to find us some cold water fish. Well, they're they're warm water fish, but the water's cold now. Anyway, we'll figure it out. There's sugar. Say hi, Shugs. No? Alright. We have arrived at our first destination. We are down at the Caddo River, which is, uh, I think it's near the Washita National Forest. Uh, <clears throat> and supposedly it's got really good smallmouth fishing. So that's kind of what we're trying for today. I'm going to be using this little guy. It's a Ned rig. You can see I've done it poorly. <laughs> Never used one before, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens. Here's our lovely river, and we're pretty much just gonna try to focus on this river today. Kind of move up and down it as we can, see what happens, and hope for the best. I'm not 100% sure I'm allowed to be in this spot. There's a, <clears throat> it, it's like a camping and RV site, but. It didn't say anywhere I had to pay to come down here. It didn't say I necessarily couldn't. There was like one no trespassing sign, but also people, there's also like a visitor sign. So it, it's confusing. We're just gonna hope for the best and see what happens. And away we go. What this is supposed to do, I guess, is you just kind of bounce it along the bottom. And I'm using specifically <clears throat> a Guggen Squad rattling Ned. And it is named that because it has a little rattle in the end, which things that make noise, fish tend to like. And I, I, I could be very wrong on this. Like I said, I don't really use these, but. From what I can tell, they're the only ones that make one with a built-in little rattle at the end. I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully you can hear that. But, little bits of rattle. That'll get some fish's attention, maybe. As it just bounces along. We're throwing it on the light action. Because, with it being colder, fish may be hitting a, uh, a little lighter. Hopefully we'll be able to feel that a little better. Look at these freaking houses up here. Might be hard to see because the sun's right there, but just up on top of that little cliffside. Just something neat. I'm not sure if I've ever shown tying a leader onto your braid before but that's what we're gonna do so got so I got a 10 pound leader here I'm gonna use a six pound line you generally want your leader to be less than your braid that way it breaks before the braid will so you just get a good bit distance on the two now on each end, we're going to tie basically the same knot we use for our hook. Wrap behind. And you just hold one end, you spin it around about five times. Alright. And you go back through your loop. And you really confused as to what you're doing because everything's twisting itself and 
There we go. Should just you don't need to pull it super tight. Then you're gonna do the same on the braid side. Behind. Make sure that line is inside the loop. One, two, three, four, five. Back through, loop, pull it tight. Then you want to grab both of your main ends and just pull them together like that and hope that it stays. Well, you get the gist of it. I'm going to tie it for real now. Alright, I got my leader tied. So, now for our Ned rig here, this is another thing I like about the Guggen baits. They're, they're definitely more expensive than your typical soft plastics, but they come in a... Ow, ow, ow. They come in these little hard cases. Keep your baits looking nice. So we take our Ned rig here. Rattles down at this end. You want that at the back. Just feed that through there, work it down a ways, pop it out, down the hook. Good enough. Now we have our leader tied. Get a little tension on there. Another nice thing about Guggen baits, and you can find this in a lot of the other ones as well, but they're uh, scented and pretty well salted, which does make a difference. The salt gives them a little action when they fall because it gives weight to them in different ways. And then they all kind of smell like black licorice. And some of you don't know what black licorice smells like. Maybe you know what Jägermeister smells like, because they're damn near the same smell and taste, but now we're ready to go. It's kind of crooked, but I don't care to fix it, because I'm lazy. Back to fishing. Well, I had the camera off, because I forgot to turn it back on after making fun of people that uh, were stuck in the snow. And... I actually had a bite and the fish on for a second, and when I stopped to mess with the camera, it came off. And that is disappointing. Yeah, right, well, we gave this place a uh, good old shot. Lost my Ned rig again, so I think I'm going to find a new place down the river. I did get one bite and one follow, both of which probably my fault, because, well, the bite definitely is my fault for why I didn't get it, but the follow, you know, who knows, but... We're, we're doing something at least halfway right since we got a little action. So we'll move on. We'll hook up another one and try again. And if it doesn't work that well, next place, maybe we'll switch up. I got some other stuff I can give a shot. All right, we're at our next spot, just a little ways down river. Up river seems like it's all private property. But new spot, nice little game and fish run area. So we can have some confidence that I'm allowed to be here. We got some railroad tracks. Uh, I don't think I can pitch out to there, but that'd be a good area to hit. And then we got this little uh, spot over here where the water will be slack behind it. That'll be all right to throw around in. But uh, river's moving a little bit more. Got my Ned rig on there. I'm getting a little better each time I rig one. So we'll see what happens. I think we'll start down here. Kind of throw out towards that thing. Can't really cast far enough across the river to get into the deep water. Which is where I'd like to be. If I could get on the other side of the river, that would be ideal. Or if I can get across that bridge. I mean, I could do it. I don't know how active it is. Hmm. 
wonder how bad it'd be to walk across this. I think we're gonna hike up our pants and uh, see if we can get across this without getting too wet. Definitely deeper than I wanted it to be. But we made it with minimum moisture. Don't think I'll be getting much farther than this though. All right, I switched out <clears throat> to a little spinning bait. It's rigged up like crap. It's not the greatest, but it's something different that I've got. And uh, we're gonna give this pretty much any chance we can before I walk back across that water. back across the water I think. Throw this around a little bit more. Maybe we'll change spots. No, not so bad. Give my boots a little time to dry off. There we go. There's a fish. All right, we did it. Oof. Got that good there, buddy. bend that barb in because it's coming out right through his nose there not ideal less barb easier unhook All right there we go so that is our smallmouth bass they usually have those red orange eyes. They don't have the lateral line like the largemouth do, and they're more of a uh, brown to bronze color on them. They also, their mouth doesn't open as wide, so normally a largemouth, you can tell because it'll extend further back behind the eye, whereas theirs stops before it. But hey, we caught us a fish. So, to be honest, I was about ready to give up. I may have to rig this thing up a little better. If they're going to bite spinner baits. Alright, I think that's it for this spot. We managed to catch this fish, so that's an important thing. And, uh, so at least we're not in total loss here, but we're going to take a look at the map, see where we can go, find the next spot. Try to catch a better fish. All right, we got a slight change of plans here. Uh, I drove around a few, well, quite a ways down river, and I was constantly just running into private land, private land, private land, everywhere I go. I couldn't get in there at all. So I'm now in the middle of nowhere, this little dirt road. We got little deer carcasses everywhere. I've seen so many of those. And uh, we're just walking down this ditch, going to this tiny little creek that I saw. Because it's right on the road, it's not fenced off, it's not private land, and maybe we can catch like some little sunfish or something, I don't know. This runs into the river, but it's not very deep. But we're just gonna give it a shot, see what happens, and hope people stop giving me weird looks as they drive by thinking I'm a big dumb idiot. All right, here's our creek. 
goes that way. We got a nice little pool here, down more into the rapids. Got a little walking room. We're gonna throw a little rooster tail back to what we know well. And I've got my blue little ultralight. This thing's, I think, a five foot, and I haven't used it in so long. I don't even know if this line's any good. It's been on there quite a while, but I suppose we're about to find out. Who knows if I'll even find anything in here, but these little creeks are nice sometimes, you know, you can get some okay fish. There's apparently a dog somewhere, but I can't believe there are no fish. Like, this is such a prime area. Oh, there's a deer. All the way down there, he just walked behind the bush, but he was crossing the river. I'm gonna guess that's what the dog was barking at, not me. Ass mono. Well, why isn't this breaking? Get up on this tree. This flies back. There right, goes that. More places. What's going on here? We got a nice. I don't know if that's a wind knot. I think it's just wrapped around this. Don't make it worse. Don't make it worse. Well, that made it worse. The line broke in my hand. Okay. We may just uh, give up on this creek right here. I mean, it, it opens up real nicely there. I just can't get to that. Let's take our fouled line and head back to the car. This was a bust. I'm not 100% sure what to do here. I think we may need to, uh, I don't know, maybe find a lake, give that a shot. Because, you know, trying to go up down the river, apparently there's not a ton of access to it. Now, the lake, it's, or the river itself, is, you know, public property, or state property, I guess. But the shoreline is owned by folks. And, I don't know, we're probably going to have to go a good ways to try to find another public access but a lake you can pretty much get all over it without an issue so I don't know I'm gonna have to look at the map figure something out here I can't believe there was no fish in this spot this looked like such a good place the water's so clear it's running it's nice and oxygenated like I don't know that was a letdown though I guess I'll just get back in the car and figure things out. Well, I ended up coming to another spot on the river. I saw there was some access on a bridge. And I was like, oh, it's, it's under a bridge. That should be a big private place. Or not private, public place. And I was wrong. There's a gate blocking it off. I, there's, it, it's on that side of the river is where I was trying to go. Like this side has this access here, which this just won't do any good with the water ripping. I wanted to get down on that gravel bed where the bend is because there's deep pockets and bends. That's where you'd want to fish and I got a lot of walking room too but I got that gate over there 
Someone's been driving there. I don't know how they're getting there. I don't know. Maybe they can get to the gate. So, I guess we'll try the next spot. Try to find another spot. This is some hogwash. Alright, so I was driving to my last spot I was going to try. And I just saw from before I hit this bridge, just a little road off to the side. So I just veered off real quick. There's a little open gate and some mud holes to go through, but we got access here. It's not great. There's a lot of trash. There's some couches up there. We've got a nice cooking pan down here. Someone else's fishing gear. But I think this could be worth a shot. I don't know. Is there... That ugly stick's still good. That rod's got a broken tip. That rod's got a broken tip. Someone's been down here fishing, doing a poor job of it. Let's see if I can do any better. I didn't bring all my stuff, I just brought this because it's caught a fish once, so... We'll just see if anything else wants it. Something's biting onto it, but they're not holding on to it. Let's see, is the tail on there? Yeah, I mean, it could be a little bluegill. Because they, that definitely gave a little pull. Hmm. <clears throat> all right, so the last place we tried to go, once again, all private property. I got chased off by a bunch of dogs that I almost ran over. So I'm going to go home. I got a call from uh, this place I was trying to buy a gun. My background check finally came through. So I'm going to go get that. I'm going to go home, put this video together, and uh, see y'all next time.